We got somebody in the back office. Um, you know, what's good, man? How you doing? Peace, Supreme peace, how you doing? Peace, man. How you doing, man? Peace, peace. I'm good. Peace. Um, so <clears throat> I saw that you had a subject about the fabric, huh? Yeah, yeah. Right, right, okay. right. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna be talking. So yeah, we're gonna bring that video I'm just right new now, one. actually. So what was you talking about? Well, well yeah, to, we have to, once I'm not I'm not from America, so my English is not so okay so okay. good. All right, all right. One second. Stay right there. I'm going to play the video. Guys, thank y'all so much for tuning in. It's the Gas Mask Stripe TV podcast where we filter out that bull. And we're about to get into the meat and potatoes of the conversation. Gang, gang, gang. Who are you, sister? Who are you, sister? Bitches with problems. What is a bitch, sister? And did your mother make you a bitch, or did the world make you a bitch? You know, I want to tell you something. My teacher, your teacher, Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, the only heaven for man is found in a woman. So there's there's more to the video. There's like maybe uh, ten seconds more, and um, but you guys kind of have a gist of it. The reason why I put both of those videos together for us to see different sides. I'm a person that I've grew up listening to um, Mr. Louis Farrakhan, and I had my mentor. He's a you know he's a Muslim, and you know he was into the whole mosque, and I've been to the mosque, and you know what I mean, and I understand, but. I like to look at things from both sides, right? We see what a person say, and we see what a person say now, and you see how there's this back and forth, right? And is it true? Can a woman, you know what I mean? Heaven for a man is a woman, which I don't, you know what I mean? But I'll let you guys expound, and I'll give my... um Mr. Supreme, you um you just coming in. So from that you've seen, what is your take? What Actually <clears throat> so I'm from Belgium, yeah. So uh here we okay. don't know Farrakhan as much as in, in America. Yeah, yes. Right. But I'm I'm a student, you could say. Mr. Farrakhan. So study uh his books, his lectures. But concerning the video. I know that he was speaking about the, some aspects of the teachings that said that the only heaven for a man is found in a woman. In the sense that it is only when you find a woman it's and only when, you, only when you are with a woman, she can only bring you the peace of mind that you really need from God because it was put naturally in her from the beginning. And so we don't believe in a heaven after you die physically. We believe in a heaven when you, after you die mentally and spiritually. So when we want to go to heaven, he was saying, explain that you actually have to find a woman because every man, we subscribe to the fact that every man was born to be with a woman and to marry and to procreate as God has uh, ordained us. So that's basically what he was saying. And the clip is like an hour, I think. So this, it was really trying to explain something in depth. And I think that's so. Yeah, that's what. And, and that's great. And a great, great uh, seven supreme. What would you like me to call you? 
Is it Seven Supreme? Or is it Seven Supreme? <laughs> no. My hey. name is Jonathan, actually. Jonathan. Jonathan. Yeah. I'll call you John. Is that cool? Okay. If you want to. I'll call John, you John. Okay. What would you prefer? Like, Jonathan's good. All right, I'll call it you, Jonathan. Jonathan. All right, yeah. Okay, so with that being said, Jonathan, I think that's the same thing Daisy was saying uh, just before, that, that like we, we're all meant for somebody, and we're all meant to be here to, you know, to help each other out. Right, Daisy? If I'm wrong, am I wrong? That's, that's, that was what you were getting to. And, but I feel different about that because of the teachings in the Bible. Yeah, sure. I, and I get Minister Farrakhan, one of my one of my go to guys, like all, all the time. I think he he's he's so profound. The problem I have with that is when somebody worship one guy, one one person, when they go the Muhammad, the Oliver, the honorable Muhammad, uh, uh, <laughs> Muhammad. When somebody goes that, you're paying. You, I don't know if it's paying homage or you just you're just wrapped up in what this one person has spoke on so much to give you the words of insight that we should automatically have. Don't get me wrong. I believe that all these teachings and everything that Minister Farrakhan says is fucking, is 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 great and beautiful. Yes. I think that he has a, a profound way of speaking. But with that profound way of speaking, is that not a doctrinate way of, of listening? Like, I feel, I feel like, I feel like it, it comes from one singularity place, and and I, I I don't I don't believe everybody is meant for somebody. I don't believe that. That's without a shadow. Even though we may be ordained, because God God made Eve, God made Adam, and then He made Eve for Adam. Okay, no problem, fine. But at the end of the day, when it comes down to it, that there, there's people out here that do better by themselves. There's people out here that do, doesn't need a single person around them to to exist and to be successful and to be okay and happy. So with that being said, with those people, it's just like it's just like the same thing. I think that everybody's not or everybody's not meant to go to heaven. Somebody a minister told me this a long time ago. I said, "Yo, like he's like I was like, why do people do this and why do people?" He's like, "Yo, some people were born to go to hell." Some people were born to go to hell. It's crazy. I can agree. Yeah. What you say? You can you can agree? Yes. Because there's a cosmic balance. There's a balance, right? It has to be a balance. Without the balance, it's be chaos. Because you have to have the good. People were born to be good. And then, then if you don't have if everybody was born to be good, what what do we have? We wouldn't know the beauty of good. It'll just be a normal thing. It'll just be just existing, right? So, okay. I, I I agree with what you what you said to to the most part about uh, Mr. Farrakhan. But when it, but when I digress, I digress to the fact that I I don't believe everything that he says. And um, okay, can can I chime yeah. in or does uh, DC have something to say? Open discussion. Go ahead. Yeah, I'll run. I'll run the floor. So you, yeah, go ahead. Chime okay. in. So good. So uh, actually. We call him the Honorable, the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad and Honorable Minister Usfaqan because we go from the fact that the works that they have done and still continue to do in transforming black men and black women from drug addicts and alcoholics and prostitutes and killers and criminals, we find that to be an honorable work. So we don't call them honorable in the sense that we worship them, but we call them honorable for the work that they have done and continue to do all yeah. around the world. So in that sense, we, we call them honorable. And I do think oh. he's honorable when you look at the works that he still continues to do. Now, um, to make my point, what was my point? Yes, so you, I personally don't think that, no, uh, that some men and some women were meant to be alone. Because otherwise we, don't, we wouldn't have a, like uh, how do you call it a reproductive organs. <laughs> like uh, to me, it doesn't make sense <laughs> to Good have point. like uh, Good point. Uh, um, sex and don't yes. use it. So I don't think it's it is really. I just think it is society that has made us in a way that some really true uh, some women and some 
man yes. really do think you, you need get, to be alone to be uh, happy. But I don't think I don't subscribe to that. Hey, let me ask and, you. Uh, let me ask you a question. Uh, yes. uh, Jonathan, have you ever bought a shirt and didn't wear it? You ever bought yes, some sir. pants, didn't wear it? Socks, didn't wear it? Uh, tool, didn't use it? Kitchen knife set, didn't use it? Anything like yes, that? But, yes, of course. But, then, but it's the same difference. There is, there is, it's the same there difference. Is no, yeah, there yeah, was yeah. a reason. Yeah, sure. There was a reason. There's a reason why you bought it, but just because it wasn't yeah. used doesn't make that it was ordained to be done, done something with. Your shirt, it was, it was meant to be a shirt to put on your body and do something for you. Mm-hmm. Doesn't mean that you that it's the same same the same out of thing, and I'm not trying to I'm not trying to be brash or rude here. What I'm just no, no. Yeah. I feel offended. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I feel like you devalue devaluing whatever women. I feel like all women have value, and I really do feel like even if you did not end up with a woman at the end of your life. I feel like you came across a woman that wanted good for you and and set you off a certain way and and guided you mentally <laughs> to the right path oh or or set off a healing button in you or something. God put it, 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 it whether you believe in energy and God and the universe. There's always people that cross your path. And I do not believe that a man not once is not going to want to have sex or be physical or be emotional with a woman because that's what we bring. We bring gentleness and love and kindness and, and comfort. Okay. And it does make sense because you said there was a balance for everything. You have hell, heaven, you have the moon, you have the sun, you have water, you have fire. Well, you have the woman and men. And I think it is a good reason uh, to be uh, reproductive. Otherwise, <laughs> we will die off as a species. So well, well, Jonathan, I do think there's women that can't, can't have babies and there's men that can't have babies either, right? You know that, right? There's women that are not, they're, they're, they're women and they can't, they can't conceive. And there's men. Yeah, that's true. That that's true. Baby. So what, what do you say to that fact? Sure. Okay, fine. If we were, we were meant to be on here with this, Okay, so what happens with those people? Are they left out the dry? It's not. It's 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 less than fifty percent of women that can't. Just like there's men and there's people that are hermaphrodites and are born with two different private parts. What yeah. do you say about that? It's it's just a gene. A uh, what is that called? Something that was that went wrong in the stomach of the mother and. Something bad happened, or it, or eventually something wrong happened to the lady, and, and she couldn't have a baby. That doesn't make her could, less than a woman. I guess you could say it's it is an exception to the rule. It's not a. It doesn't de, It doesn't take away from her value, though. Exception or ordained? What? Exception or ordained? It was ordained. Either way, by the permissive will of. Uh, the active will of God, I believe, but it is ordained. And I do think that everything that happens happens for a reason. So, so if she didn't that have just, a child, maybe it, yes, I do believe it. So doesn't that throw your whole notion out that everybody was meant to be with somebody? Doesn't that throw that? No. Out? It doesn't throw it no. out. Because nah. you mean, and I'm not because to brash, brash I, here. I mean, you can, you can always marry. I don't have children. I mean, some it was the point of want children. Some people just want to be with somebody and, and have a bond and have somebody there. You said the point of men and women to be together was to pro, 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 uh, procreate, right? That's yeah. the original That's, plan. Yeah. That is the original point. But what yes. if you're together and you can't procreate? What happens then? Then you, then you just can't procreate, <laughs> but you still can. But you're still with somebody. Like, yes, that's what I would say. Do what? To do what? Grow old with and do nothing? You can go on a trip and have a life and be happy together. Like, they don't have to be a bother. Yelping? And she put up with my farts? Nah. I thought you had a girl. What is she? I have some some things to talk about with her. (laughs) What time is it? 
Oh no, she got. We got another two hours before she get off work. So yeah, you you see her two but hours. You you do were talking about uh, the scriptures in the Bible. So we do know that Abraham had uh, more than one wife. Just one of, of his wife couldn't bear a child. Yes. So, so uh, he he took a hand he his handmaiden. He made a child with her. So I guess uh, monogamy can be a solution too. At the very end, she oh, had a baby, though, baby. because that's how much God really loved her. Get him, Biz. Biz, get him. <laughs> we got to get to the comments. Oh, man. I ain't, Look, man. Get him. Um, you want me to read it? He said... Oh, are you, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Can you read it? I read that. Read it. Game face. Uh, I, to a 009. I like it. I like that one. Uh, it takes humility to be in a relationship. It takes humility to create each true family, not just reproduce. We are all on a journey to progress to our best self, being able to reproduce or not. By like yourself, that. yeah. Like that. Yeah. So there was a lot. There was a lot in there, man. There was a lot in there that I heard that that I was just like, "What the fuck?" Like, like okay, okay, I get, I get it. it, but we can all we can't all think like we're all here, like equally. Like some people are just meant to be soldiers, and other people are meant to be kings, right? Just like queens. Just like, I mean, it's an ecosystem. Like, we all have to, you know what I mean? What's the statistics on man? Like, 50% of men won't even get a chance to have a child, or 30% won't even get a chance to even have sex with a woman. Like, it's not, it's, it's, it's not like it's all gravy, you know what I mean? Like, we're all, yes, we're all meant to do something. We all have a purpose, you know? But as far as holding someone up as a high note to say, like, this person is heaven. I heard someone else said that, oh, he was using it as women are needs to be utilized. Like you can utilize women, you know, in yeah. a sense. And I'm like, yeah. what? Like, I, you know what I mean? <laughs> like when you're getting different perspectives or whatever, I'm like, hell no. Nah. This literally meant verbatimly. This was like, to me, it was pandering in a sense. It was pandering. It was simping. You know what I mean? And when we just saw the clip before when he was calling the bitches, you know what I mean? But then again, we get here. I think here, that's the same and that, pastor that was calling them the H word at one time, and I was like, "What kind of right. pastor?" So, is this? That's right. Not, like, there's not, another video of another pastor telling his congregation, wife, like, calling kind of white is, 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 is a whole different thing. Yeah, it was like you whores. <laughs> but, but, <laughs> tell a lie. He'll be real. He'll be real. I think I was not going to the out. Yes. I think you in the first video it was just no no go ahead. go ahead. I I don't think I think we can all say people have great things to say, right? Everybody. Shit, yeah. we're not taking none nothing from nobody. You know what I mean? Like everybody has I mean, even fucking Malcolm X says some foul shit, but then you know we understood what he stands for. So nobody's like saying that. Oh well, nobody's gonna follow him because he made these remarks. I mean, people—he's made remarks before, and people still follow him. You know what I mean? When we're looking yeah. at this in the sense of like, this is a someone take as leader, right? And most people look at him as a leader, or he holds that status. I mean, I hear, and there was a couple of people that was talking, and, and they were saying that no, he's not a leader. We just—it's kind of like God and Christ, like how Christians follow Christ. And, you know, how they pray to God, but they follow Christ, you know, what I mean, whatever the case may be. And I was like, I get it. But in society, we look at him as a leader. Right. Everyone. Yes. I don't give a fuck if you're not a Muslim over where in America. I don't give a fuck if you're not a Muslim or if you are. You still see because yeah. you hear about Farrakhan. You see Farrakhan. He look as a leader. Like, you know, what I mean, he has troops. He has, you know, team. He has a congregation. And he holds his status as like where everybody comes in masses to hear this guy talk, you know what I mean? Preach in a sense. And like Martin Luther King, he, you know, we look at him as, you know, a leader in a sense. And what he did talk, I mean, preach, you know, all those good things. Right. 
but people will have podcasts and conversations about him and his wife, you know, having issues in their marriage, right? And that whole, you know, I mean, that whole ordeal. What we're looking at is a person who we find as credible and we see the pandering and we like, well, this doesn't hold us in the sense of accountable. Now, I'm not a part of the culture, you know, in Islam, but I can definitely understand the respect factor, right? And I was, I just wanted to question, like, well, do we even question our leaders now? Like, everybody just roll with it. We just have, we could just say these yeah. things in church and everybody just jump and holler. I mean, I was watching a, another a pastor. He was a Christian pastor. And he was telling his congregation that you're cheap. That you can go to Sam's and buy some watch. It was like some watch at Sam's that you can go buy. And he was like, y'all don't go buy that. And I'm like, what the fuck is this dude talking? Like, why are you talking to your congregation? Like, I mean, I get it. You may be upset or you may be in your way, but I think we could get too carried away. Like certain people as leaders, they can get like because too they were not giving up the tides you know and mean? you're spending money on other stuff, probably. I think you said it right, Biz. You said get too carried away. Yeah, man. I, I I think the people don't hold the leaders accountable as like the leaders are holding the people accountable. Yes. Um, I, I can agree with it. But to your you know point, I, mean? I think the first, because that's not the first time that he said it. He, he's been saying, saying that for years now. Ever since I, I watched I'm, him, I'm, I'm aware. I've heard it multiple times. So it's nothing new. And it is a part of the teachings. And we follow. We do follow the truth of the Bible and, of course, the Holy Quran. So, in our eyes, it's not as much as simply. It's just giving the the real truth of the statue and the value of a woman. Because women today, in our society, this world society, are just looked down as useful to, tools Yay. and uh, sex toys. So he was saying, like, no. Actually, they are not that, but they are a, a little bit more than that. And we say in our teaching that the yeah the black woman specifically, but <clears throat> is the mother mother of civilization. So um, all I say all that to say we put some respect on every woman, but especially black women. And we do believe that our only way to have real heaven, a real peace of mind is to be with a woman, to interact with a woman, to find a purpose, and to submit to God. That's one of the points. So that, I was... Yes. So I was telling a lady uh, today, she was talking about her music program at her church, and we were just, you know, she was telling about, like, the church, and yeah, we have this, we don't really have much in our budget, and we're trying to work this up, blah, blah, blah. And I said, I'll work with you, no problem. Like, I'll still help out. I kind of look at it as just work, just community work. I always say when I play drums at a church or when I go do something for a church, it's kind of like my 10% of earnings, right? To give your wealth, 10% of what you earn, right? Most people think it's 10% of your fucking money. And it, and, I mean, but then again, that's a whole biblical thing. We ain't going to go through that. But I feel what you are worth, who you are, you need to give that within, right, from your heart, right? And a lot of times I don't charge the churches, Right, because I've got gotten to a certain point, so I don't charge these churches, and a lot of them would just pay it. But she was going back, and she kept talking about these scriptures, and I kept telling her the truth on just how, like, I look at everything. And I said, to know the truth and not tell your brother is blood on your hands when you yes. see the gates. That's something that's in that's always scared me. That's always fucking scared me. Right? I don't give a fuck what in them. I don't give a fuck how many people try. No, God is this. God is just the fact that those words was consolidated and put together that way. You know what I mean? And for someone to even say some shit like that, it just made me like, damn. If I don't, if I know some good, or if I know some something that can help you and better your life, and whether you take it or not, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, I still gave the thought. I mean, I still gave the seed. I sowed the seed. You know what I mean? Most people out here like, oh, they honing on ideas and, you know what I mean? Let's put, you know, women in this box and let's put men in this box and we got to keep our thing this way. And it's like, it's too much. It's it's, it's too stress. Like, you're walking around really stressed in life. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. I, see, I I have a, a TikTok that says, like, we're so stuck in the box that the box don't even fucking exist. Yeah. So stuck in the box. <laughs> it don't even <laughs> exist. It doesn't. It never existed. So it's like, it's where's this? When does it say we can't hold each other accountable, right? I I get it, though. I get it. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. You know what I mean? I always say old dog. I call them mature dogs. So you can't teach a mature dog new tricks. I get it, right? So it would be like, who's going to tell Farrakhan, yo, um, hey, man, let's, you know, we still got to, you know, we, we got kids coming up in this end. <laughs> Yeah, like this is kind of keeping the culture thing going on here. You know what I mean? Or like, who's to tell the you Christian tell, pastor, "Hey, bro, we got"? You like, tell when I heard the pastor come to this sermon, I don't know. And I said, my impression of you gotta speak the truth for yourself. I think I, there, I, there I, are I, I, actual facts. We're not caring about our culture, man. It's culture. It's fucking culture. It's all about culture. We don't care about our culture enough to correct some shit like this, and that's the point. Nobody in the black community is really, really that type of, oh, no, we're going to go question this shit. Like, yo, we got kids and we want our kids to still be like, but we got to keep the narrative so that it doesn't get too carried away with these people. You know what I mean? In this world that we live in. Yeah. I like, we don't control our own fucking media. You know what I mean? If we control our media, then we'll be able to correct certain things like this, right? You won't see this like, in the Catholic Church, right? You, know what, <laughs> you see some mother wild uh, shit until they bring some shit out. You know what I mean? It just, <laughs> it just, <laughs> you see somebody, like, I ain't trying to get there. You know, you know what I'm talking about. I ain't trying to get there. But I do feel when men and women are, 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 you know, close to equal, I just feel that, and this is nothing I always say, femininity, femininity is, to me, to my own belief, femininity is more stronger than masculinity. Right, because it can contain masculinity, it can maneuver masculinity in a way to become more abundant. Right, like you say, you like there's a saying you get with the right woman, the woman you with, you know what I mean, you know, will show you your wealth, you know, pretty much. And that kind of shows you like what type of like is she invested into you, is she pouring out to you, is she, you know, those things. And it's not so much, you know, what I mean, like it's not so much as she's like. Your assistant and your sl- no, ain't nobody talking about that weird shit. You know what I mean? That's you know what I mean. <laughs> we talking about actually a woman that's actually invested into her husband, and she actually are into the things that he into. She likes what he likes, and you know what I mean. I think what he what I'm I'm not translating for Farrakhan, but if I had to and I had to correct it, I would say he meant it in that way. Like she can bring his heaven on earth. She can like at least give him the 